myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Thanks. I totally know you. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. Oh god, that's my favorite part. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. I have no choice. <laughs> oh, he says it so often. Please, Madison. Please. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Nope. Get out. If you want to help me, please. It's easy to do this on my own. Done having you snoop around my life, woman. But damn your ass. That shit's fine. Alrighty, let's find out what part four is. Shark. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. I'm really ashamed of myself for doing the Jaws music. I feel like everybody does that. Are you prepared to kill someone? to save your son. Brad Silver. Kill him. Send a picture. Get your reward. I swear to God, my house is so cold. I've had goosebumps for the last, like, four hours. And I have, like, a furry blanket on me. Have you even used a gun? I like how he runs out and then stops. Thursday. Clock shop. Manfred's Antiques. Manfred. Manfred. I Anybody see home? you, old man. Hello. Hi there, man. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. You remember me? Is that Mel Brooks? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yeah, of course! Well, it's good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I Ages. guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. Oh. I, I'd repair clocks, but... I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's, uh, she's a friend. Hello. We are not boning. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. Yeah. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I... I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Manfred. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust in the clock. Just overlapping. Call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Goodbye. Now about this scotch. Log of woodland. Well, to old friends. Yeah. And the 
again. Drink it. Scott's drunk. Oh, I meant to ask you something. You have to hit on my main squeeze? Do you like it? It's alright. Yes, it's beautiful. You can have it. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th Venus. century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. So you can't have it. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Of course I can. That's my whole job. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. <laughs> beginning to? You already have glasses. There you go, friend. Thanks. Yeah, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. <laughs> a royal five. Err. Uh, yes, the shape of the C's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it. It's a royal five. You're a genius, Manfred. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. I wish I had one. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. <laughs> Sounds sarcastic. Oh, yeah, that'd be really helpful. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. I'm only going to give you, like, ten seconds. So, get looking. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. <sighs> Don't keep messing with that thing, Lauren. Break it. He said it's his favorite. What is happening right now? Oh God, all the clocks. It's eleven fifteen. Manfred. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Manfred. The killer's name might be in Manfred's paper. Hello. Manfred. Hello. Oh shit. Oh my sir? god. Hello? Manfred! Oh my Could god. you not tell that he was dead, Scott? Come on. He's dead. Oh god. Did his eyes just open? What just happened? I must be seeing things. Scott? <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out hey, of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do we're with this. We're not goats. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? First, we get rid of the body. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we've touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Good thinking, Scott.